the viewers, this is 300 plus academy where all we'll do is exams, tutoring, ensuring that you ace your next and every exam. Still on the business of 2024, uh, NECO chemistry uh, practical. Recall that our titration is between sulfuric acid and sodium carbonate. So since we have sodium carbonate, we've said the sodium carbonate can be in various forms. It can be in the anhydrous form. It could be in the hydrated form. And it could be in the hydrated form with the uh, sodium being absent and written as S2CO3. It can be like in this uh, form, Na2CO3.XH2O, which is exactly what we have in this question. It could be X2CO3 in the anhydrous form, yet X is what we're given here. It could be x 2 co 3 dot uh 10h2o it could we could as well have this as a uh, direct na to co3 so it could be in at least this uh four different forms and that is the reason why we must look at the uh various formats in which we can have the questions not to forget that in the first lecture video we've had to titrate and construct the uh titration table where we've agreed that our title value is 20.53 cm. That's the average volume of acid use. So in this question, as you can see on your screen, A is H2SO4, and we're given the concentration as 0.069 mole per dm cube. B is actually sodium carbonate dot SH2O, and we were told that we have uh, 8.1 gram of that in 500 cm cube uh, solution. You can see the instruction for question A there. All of question A is what we've done in the previous lecture video, and we've agreed that our title value should be uh, VA equals to 20.53 cm cube. So we were told to calculate the average volume of A use, and we have done that. B, from your results and the information provided, calculate concentration of B in mole per dm cube. So concentration of B, first uh, concentration of my A, Talking about B1 now, concentration of my A is actually 0.069 mole per dm cube. When you look at the uh, question very well, you can see the equation, it is 1 to 1. So number of moles of my acid is 1. Number of moles of my base is also 1. Concentration of my base in mole per dm cube is what I'm looking for. And my VB here is the volume of the pipette, which is 25.0 cm cube in this case. So what this means is that if I use CA, VA over CB, VB equals to NA over NB. CA here is 0 0.069 times VA is 20.53 divided by CB is exactly what we're looking for. That is our unknown for this question times VB, that's 25 equals to 1 over 1. In this case, CB is going to be 0 0.069 times 20.53 divided by 25. If you compute the answer here, our CB is going to be 0 0.057 mole per dm cube. That way, we already know the concentration of our B in a mole per dm cube. Straight to the next question, we we're told to calculate, that's B2 now. We we're told to calculate the concentration of B in gram per dm cube. CB in gram per dm cube. That is the question, as you can see on your screen now. Concentration in gram per dm cube is actually concentration in mole per dm cube times molar mass. Where we know the concentration in mole per dm cube of B to be 0 0.057, we are dealing Na to CO3 dot SH2O, so we cannot get the molar mass, so we cannot use this. So we'll go the alternative method. We've been given here, concentration in gram per dm cube is actually the mass you have in gram divided by the volume of the solution in dm cube. In this case, concentration in gram per dm cube will mean 8.1 gram in 500 cm cube. So we have to convert the volume to dm cube divided by 1000. So that it means 8.1 times 1000 divided by 500. The implication of this is that CB is going to be 16.2 gram 
per dm cube. That is the mass concentration. That's a uh, uh, CB in gram per dm cube. You look at question number three, B Roman figure three. It says molar mass of Na2CO3. We were told to calculate the molar mass of Na2CO3. Molar mass, you can see molar mass of Na2CO3 dot XH2O. And now, I gave a formula here. If we bring this here, what this means is that the molar mass is actually concentration in gram per dm cube divided by the concentration in mole per dm cube. The implication of which is 16.2, that's the mass concentration gram per dm cube, divided by 0 0.057, 0 0.057. If we compute this, 284, 284.2 gram. So that is the molar mass of Na2CO3 uh, dot SH2. We were told to look for the value of X in Na2CO3 dot SH2. We're looking for, this is Roman figure, for value of X in Na2CO3 dot xh so what that means is that Na2CO3, now this Na2CO3, that is 106. Water is 18 plus 18x, all equals to the molar mass 284.2. This will mean 18x equals to 284.2 minus 106. So that will give us 178. 178.2 so 18x equals to 178.2 so x equals to 178.2 divided by 18 x equals to 9.90 this is approximately 10 so what this is telling us is that our x is 10 look at the question very well it is a very direct question and with that, we have come to the end of this lecture talking about NECO 2024 uh, practical chemistry. From myself and the entire team, it's bye for now.